On Ethereum, miners have an unfair advantage, that's what we call MEV. Since 2020, miners have made more than $700 million using techniques like front-running and sandwich attack. Flashbot is a research project to fight against MEV. What is MEV and how can Flashbot protect against it? That's what we'll see in this video. If you are new here, I'm Julian and on Eat the Blocks, I teach blockchain development. MEV means miner extracted value. It's a flow in Ethereum that allows miners to make money off users. When a transaction is sent to the Ethereum network, it goes into the mempool of each miner. The mempool is an order list of all pending transactions. If a miner sees a transaction that is profitable, like a liquidation or an arbitrage, he can steal the opportunity for himself by sending the same transaction with a higher gas price. That's what we call front running. Another kind of MEV is a sandwich attack, when a miner anticipates a price increase by wrapping a buy order with its own buy and sell order. This allows the miner to benefit from the slippage created by the initial transaction at the expense of the trader. Flashbot comes to our rescue. With Flashbot, we have searchers, relayers, and miners. Searchers are the users of the Flashbot service. They create an order list of transactions with their own transaction first and with the other transactions coming from the public Ethereum mempool. Searchers make sure to select the most profitable transactions for miners. This transaction list is called a Flashbot bundle. Then they send this bundle to relayers. Relayer acts as a layer of defense in case of a denial of service attack. Relayers forwards the bundles to Flashbot miners. Flashbot miners are miners who run a modified Ethereum client called GetMEV. They select the most profitable bundle and mine it in the next block. Miners get paid by searchers with direct Ether transfer in a smart contract instead of with transaction fees. This guarantees searchers that they will only pay miners if their transaction don't fail. To set a transaction with Flashbots, you can combine the Ethers library with the Flashbot plugin for Ethers. And if you want something even more simple, you can use the Flashbot Protects API. The Flashbot Protects API handles all the low-level details and offers a simplified interface. It will also resend transactions that didn't get mined. So now you know what are Flashbots. A great use case for Flashbots is to do an arbitrage with Flash Loans. And if you want to learn more about this, check out this video.